Nice, very nice. And I'm glad that these fundamental questions are coming up. Because if these are understood, then the rest would be automatically clear. Very good. There are two words and we'll understand the difference between them. One is imagination, the other is creativity. Imagination means I am living confined by my past knowledge. Anybody here who knows, let's say Russian. <coughs> All right. Now, what's your name? Sir, Mohit. Mohit, imagine yourself to be speaking in the Russian language. Imagine. Can you imagine? You can't imagine. Imagination is a very small thing. Imagination is limited by your past knowledge and experience. Of that which you have zero experience and zero knowledge, you can't even imagine. For example, you cannot imagine a fourth dimension of space. Try as hard as you may, you can't even imagine a fourth dimension of space. But you can safely imagine many other things that you have already experienced in the past. That you, have, that you can imagine. You know what? You can't even dream of things that you have no previous experience of. It's funny that even our dreams are repetitive. We sometimes say, you know, I had a very special dream. But even that dream is nothing but a recycling of the past experience. Bits and pieces of past experiences come together and they appear like a new dream. But it is not a new dream at all. All imagination is limited by individual experience. Huh? So imagination is a petty thing, a small thing. Contrasted to imagination is creativity. <coughs> creativity is when something arises from nothing. Creativity is not bound by the past. Creativity is not a function of thought. In imagination, there is thought. In creativity, there is just a meditative silence. And from that, something happens. So creativity is of great value. Imagination is of no value. When you are silent and then there is a sudden realization, that is called creativity. When you are absolutely still, from that stillness, there is an explosion of movement, that is called creativity. You suddenly draw something or you write something down or you paint something or you sing something. That is of great value because it is creative. Imagination is repetition, creativity is freshness. Imagination is repetition, creativity is freshness. Hmm? So if you are saying imagination is important, no, use the right word. Creativity is important, not imagination. So uh, do the words right and wrong exist? <coughs> no, not, not at all. See, right and wrong are all standards set by people according to their convenience. What is right today will be wrong tomorrow. Even today, what is right at one place is wrong in another place. Opinions. Hmm? Opinions. Opinions, wonderful. See, in the United States, homosexuality is legitimated in a few states. There you have the option that every state can have its own laws. And in a few other laws, states, it's, it's illegal. And tomorrow it will not be so. In the same United States, slavery based on race and color used to be something alright. And we all know that Lincoln had to fight a great battle for it. What is right today will be wrong tomorrow. What is right in one house, in one religion, is wrong in another house, another religion. So these are dependent on time, space, opinions. Hmm? They have no value. Uh, one more question. Yeah. So, uh, this question is not really uh, materialistic. It says, everything that I go through uh, would be temporary. Is it so? Temporary. Were you thinking first thing that the previous questions are materialistic? Uh, yes. <laughs> they were not. 
So this is purely not materialistic. Hmm. Okay, what I am saying is everything uh, that I go through is temporary. If I learn something today, if I don't go through it or I don't revise it, it's gone. Maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow. So what I am saying is, is anything eternal in my life? In your life, nothing is eternal. But in life, everything is eternal. What you call as your life began at a particular day when you say that you were born and what you call as your life will end on a particular day when you say I have died. But life is eternal. Life goes on. You see there is the ocean. The waves are not eternal. One particular wave, one particular wave rises and falls. But the ocean is eternal. So waves come and waves go. My life is like one particular wave. It rises and it falls. It rises from the ocean and it goes back to the ocean. But the ocean is eternal. My life has a particular time span. But life is eternal. <laughs>